Uh, welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? There's a more academic to check it out now. Now, let me get two number nines, a number nine large, a number six, extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese. Will that complete your order? And, um, I think that should be it. I'm, I'm going a little late today. Oh, almost forgot. And one cookies and cream McFlurry, please. Ice cream machine is now. Swaggy? Why the fuck, every time I come into the store, this exact location, there's always something wrong with my order. What the hell was that noise? Did you just have a malfunction? You know, it's getting to a point where it's starting to become an issue about respect. You guys do not respect me as a customer at this establishment, at this entire franchise. I should be customer of the motherfucking month getting pictures with the fat purple bitch for unlimited Big Macs because of how often I come here to order. You, you just, you still going. You keep it, you keep it pushing like nothing happened. And you guys keep fucking me over. You a different breed. You built different, my guy. Check it out now. I would like to speak to a manager. Are you fucking serious? I said I'd like to speak to a manager. <sighs> All right. What seems to be the problem here, boss? Oh, jeez. I don't know, jackass. Maybe take a look around at the establishment that you're running. Look at your employees. Oh! They're brain dead and burnt out like somebody put a molly in their sprite and they ain't even know it. First of all, you were in the presence of a boss. So I suggest you address me as such. Bitch, address my goddamn order. Whoa! Oh, somebody! I can, I, can give a, I can give less than a fuck who I'm talking to right now. You know why? Because I'm fucking hangry. Better make your job an everyday struggle up in here till I get some fucking respect. <sighs> you know, I almost let you knock me off my pivot just now. Where the codec? But I'm gonna go ahead and give you five seconds to get out of my store before I become the true informant that I am and call the police. <sighs> I don't want to have to do this, but you guys left me no choice. <gasps> Your cashier called me the N-word. What? Oh yeah, hard R and everything. You know, being the only white person that works here, I didn't want to say that I didn't trust you because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. But the boss never trusted you. I did not call him the N-word. He's just fucking lying. You did too. And that's facts. Stop lying on my fucking name. I'm really about to smack the shit out of you in a second. Go to your body like Mike Tyson fuck is they talking about yes fuel yourself with that hate like you did when you called me up whoa, 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 whoa mr ross i promise you i did not call him that i don't even know what a he is both of you out get out oh. man fuck this weak ass lame ass job anyways this is not my career I don't care if I lose this shit. Look, I'm about to hit on my man who does forks right now. Three weeks top, I'm going to be tripling what the fuck I make here. On God. You can run and tell that, pussy boy. Three weeks later. Oh, damn. You fucked up out here. <laughs>